What's up, I'm Troubleshoot, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be covering Affinity Photo 2.0, Affinity Designer, and probably Publisher 2. It's great that Affinity is offering updates in such a way, you pay once you own it forever, you can still use Affinity 1, but Affinity 2 now gets updates, and there's a couple of cool new features. However, you can see on the side here, the layers panel looks a lot worse in my opinion. It's a lot more cluttered, it's more difficult to see exactly what's going on. Let's see exactly how we can fix that. If you'd like to fix the layers panel, as in make it look more like Affinity 1 than Affinity 2, all we need to do is click the hamburger icon at the top right of layers, and inside of here, we have a few options. First of all, under thumbnail background, I'll untick checkerboard background. That way, we don't need to see what is transparent and what's not. You probably know because you added it there. Click the hamburger once more, thumbnail background. I like to choose dark here. If you have light, well, that's exactly what it looks like. So I'll choose dark. Then from the hamburger, I'll uncheck show object type that disables the object type on the far left. For me, it's just added clutter. I don't focus on that at all. Finally, show group thumbnails enables group thumbnails so you can see what's inside of groups even without expanding them. It's just the icon next to it that shows you that it's a group. That's pretty much it. At this point, we're now back to where we were previously. I much prefer this over the default new settings for Affinity Photo 2 and designer as well. I just like this old way of how it looks. It's a lot cleaner and easier to understand what's going on. I like to see what's inside of folders. That way I can quickly locate them with visual cues. Anyways, thank you all for watching this quick guide. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.